The air is so fresh. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. Did you hear about Junpei-kun yesterday? He was acting so indecent, I didn't know how to react. <laughs> it's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Mitsuru speaking. One moment, let me switch over to speakerphone. Go ahead. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island, and a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need more information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a type of combat vehicle. An anti-shadow weapon, to be precise. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? We gotta tell the others. Where's my phone? We're not currently with everyone, so it might take some time for us to regroup. I see. In any case, I want you to handle this as soon as you can. I'm on my way there now. If we can't secure the target, do we have permission to destroy it? I highly doubt you will be able to destroy it. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. Great. No one's answering. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Once we do that, we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although searching the whole island won't be easy. Ugh, the one time we need them and they're nowhere to be found! <sighs> huh? Are the girls not up yet? Man, those sleepyheads. The ocean's not gonna sit around and wait for us, you know? Once the sun sets, the water temperature drops, tiring you out much faster. Huh? Uh, I guess. That's really what you're worried about? Junpei, that reminds me. Didn't one of the maids give you something as we were leaving? <laughs> you saw that, huh? One of the maids gave me a letter. <laughs> oh, man. What if it's a confession of love? Well, it sure is tough being this popular. You're a moron. Okay, let's see here. It says, we've gone to see the Jomon Cedar Tree. Huh? This looks like Yamagishi's handwriting. Oh man! We're at an island resort in the middle of summer! Why are they going to the beach? That's just not right! Well, it is your fault. What do you mean? I just wanted to lighten the mood yesterday. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter now, anyways. We're on our own. Just... the guys. This is the frontier of romance. We're bound to meet someone new out here. We'll call this Operation Yakushima Beach Fling. Flame? You mean we're gonna pick up girls? How about it, Sonata-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. I should have known this was your plan. What do you think about this? Do you really want to let this opportunity to enjoy our summer vacation go to waste? Come on, guys! It'll be fun! Then I'm appointing him our leader, as usual. What? Why? You said it yourself. This is an operation. Oh, man, that's bullshit! You better take this seriously. It's an important operation.
Okay, this is my area of expertise, so let me give you some pointers. First off, think of something to talk about, something they might be interested in. Give them an easy question and get the ball rolling. That's the golden rule. Something like, where are you from? Or, having fun? Once you get started, you'll be going back and forth like you're playing catch. I'll start things off, then you ask the questions, all right? Okay. Here we go. Let me go through my work. Let me earn it. Hey there, ladies. Watch how it is. None of your business. Huh? Hey, no need to be shy. Why should we tell you anything? Why? Uh, well, come on. We're just making conversation. How is this like playing catch? Don't worry, I got this. Watch and learn. So, ladies, are you in college? Or maybe you're already working? Um, you guys seem a little young. Are you still in high school? High school kids vacationing in Yakushima? That kind of pisses me off. Sorry you feel that way. We're only here because we were invited to our friend's vacation home. Wow. A vacation home in Yakushima? Good for your friend. We, on the other hand, had to save up our own money to come here. Oh, that's a pretty big accomplishment, huh? No, not really. So what do you guys want, anyway? What? <laughs> I like your honesty. Don't encourage them. They'll go away if we ignore them. Wait! Don't do that! How can you blame us for wanting to talk to such beauties? <sighs> These guys are full of shit. Yeah, let's get out of here. Playing catch, all right. Hey, I did my best. And what about you, Sonata-san? If that's how you feel, then show us how it's done. Why do I have to show you anything? Well, you said this was an operation, didn't you? Aren't we supposed to work together in order to succeed? I guess you've got a point there. Fine, I'll give it a shot. I'm sure I'll do better than you at least. Can you give me a hand? I'll go ahead and set the pace.
Ja. Spotted a new set of targets. Hmm. What are you waiting for, Sonata Sant? Show us what you got. Just keep your mouth shut. Hey, Nobuko. Are those boys looking at us? Oh, yeah, they are. Wow, Yoshie. I'm surprised you could see from over there. All right. Time to get in the ring. There. Uh, sorry to bother you, but uh, I, I wanted to ask you something. And what would that be? Uh, uh, are you, uh, two here alone? <laughs> are you hitting on us? No, no, not, not at all. We just thought that if you're bored, uh, you might want to talk, or uh, a chance meeting like this might... Stir things up for both of us, uh, you know. But isn't that what it means to hit on someone? Haven't you heard? It's lame to hit on girls at the beach nowadays. Aw, come on. We were bored anyway. And besides, they look kind of cool. Really, Nobuko? Hey, how old do we look to you? Seriously? We still look that young? Aw, I'm so happy to hear that, even if it's just flattery. To tell you the truth, we're actually older than that. Oh, you are? That, that's too bad. Yo, wait! That's fine by us! Older women are more mature and experienced and stuff. You know, you're a pretty smooth talker for someone so young. How old are you guys, anyway? Truth is, we're in high school. I'll be graduating next year. Oh gosh, that's more of an age gap than I was expecting. See, it's not gonna work out. Besides, I doubt you're having any fun talking to us. Come on, no you're not. I don't think there's anything we could chat about that you'd find interesting. Unless you want to hear me complain about my boss. Uh, complaining about your boss? Um, that might be fun. You're not very good at lying, are you? You really don't have to try so hard. Yoshie, don't ruin the conversation. He said it might be fun, so just play along. Nobuko, you need to stop being so nice to everyone. Oh, come on. It's been ages since I've done this. Tease these kids enough. We should head back. They're gonna be waiting on us, you know. They? You mean, you have boyfriends? Oh, right. Sorry, forgot to mention that. Well, we gotta go now. We're meeting our boyfriends back at the villa for a barbecue. You can come if you want. Not a son. What happened? They look like a bunch of idiots. And you, you haven't been pulling your weight either. 
gotta come through on the next one. You hear me? There's a woman over there all alone. It's unusual to find someone not in a group. No boyfriends to be seen in the area either. I think we're in the area. All right, time to make contact. Excuse me, miss. Oh, hello. Can I help you? Oh, she's hot. Say, uh, you here alone? Yeah. And I'm so bored. I've been watching you, by the way. You've been trying to pick up girls for a while. Well, how'd you do? <laughs> That's what I thought. You boys don't understand women at all. Guess I can't deny that. You in the hat. You're way too wrapped up in yourself. Shouldn't you be thinking more about how to make your partner happy? Yes, ma'am. You in the t-shirt. You're the type that's stoic, but not very experienced with girls. Yeah, I guess that might be true. You seem like kind of a hassle, too. Like you're super logical about everything. <sighs> and you, with the long hair. I'm not sure about you. <laughs> I mean, you're mysterious. Like, no one can ever tell what you're really thinking. You know what I mean? Oh, you're so smart. Mm-hmm. I think you're just my type. Hey, wait a second! Just joking. I like you a lot, too. Really? Want me to tell you what would make me really happy? Yes, ma'am. Could I ask you to help me put on my sunscreen? What? I mean, uh, you're all right with that? Of course I am. I have enough for you, too. Oh, man. I'm really sorry, guys, but I'm not passing up this chance. Would you two like to join, too? I'll give you a good deal. A deal? You know that sun in the sky isn't real, right? That's an artificial sun that got sent into space back in the 1980s. You didn't know? Turns out that sun sends out harmful rays that mess with your body's equilibrium. Normal sunscreen doesn't work. But that's where this special one comes in. And if you opt in right now, you can get three bottles for just 300,000 yen. Hey, doesn't she sound kind of strange? Sucks so much. <sighs> What's wrong with you? I thought you weren't interested in picking up chicks. If I'm in a match, I want to win. <sighs> I know what our problem is. You can't control yourself. What? Don't blame this on me. I'm just stating the obvious. 
Not like you scored either, sonata -san. Why you always gotta be so logical? Even in front of babes, it doesn't make any sense. What did you just say? That's it. Leader, whose fault do you think it is? I won't accept a stalemate. It's either him or me. Yeah, that answer ain't gonna cut it. Besides, what the hell do you... No. What? Do you see something? about saving the best for last. Now that's what I'm talking about. Holy hell, she's cute. Yeah, she is. Oh, man, this is insane. If we nail this, it'll blow our failures out of the water. How about this time? We try going one by one instead of all together. All right, I'm in. Okay, and let's decide the order. We'll go clockwise, starting with the winner. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors! Oh yeah! I win! Okay, I'll go first, Sonata Sonata second, and you'll go last. Here goes! Uh, hey. I notice you've been, uh... Staring at the ocean. So, um, you here with anyone? My name's Jujunpei. Jujunpei? <clears throat> um, I was just wondering if you'd be down to talk. If you're not busy, that is. I mean, it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, right? I am looking for someone. Uh, oh yeah? You are not that someone. Wow. You got shot down faster than I expected. She's a tough one, Senpai. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Oh, hey. Do you like the, uh, motion? Is your question directed at me? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I like the ocean. I, uh, you know, I heard something interesting about triathletes who train at indoor pools. Apparently, they get outperformed by athletes who train in the ocean. That information is irrelevant to me. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> well, I won. I talked to her longer than you did. It doesn't matter how long you talk to her! Oh, this sucks. I could cry. Hey, don't cry. Oh, you're making me feel bad. Well, that's where we are. If you can't pull this off, I'm gonna be traumatized for the rest of my life. We're on the ropes, but it's not over yet. It's all up to you now. must be made at a secure location.
Hey, what did you say to make her run away like that? Well, what are you waiting for? Go after her! This could turn into serious trouble. You gotta go tell her you're sorry. If you don't, we'll get all the blame. Go on, and catch her if you hurry. Get on your knees, beg for forgiveness, and introduce her to me. Please? The way she just started off is odd. I'm not sure what you said to her, but you better clear up the misunderstanding. Now I am certain. I have found you. I have been searching for you. My highest priority is to be at your side. What? Are you friggin' kidding me? What's going on? You didn't even say anything to her. doing here? We've been looking all over for you. Um, what are you doing in the middle of the woods in your swimsuits? You have no idea what we've... Huh? Who's this? And why is she hugging you? Listen, we have a slight situation here. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but I need everyone to go back to the house and gear up. Ah, uh, that won't be necessary. We found what we were looking for. Mr. Chairman, what do you mean? <laughs> you had me worried. You can't just leave the lab on your own, I guess. Understood. Sorry for all the trouble. Everything is under control now. What happened to securing the tank? Oh, that's been taken care of. I guess, join us over here. 
Understood. This is Igus. As you can see, she's a machine with the form and face of a human girl. I am Igus. My objective is to exterminate shadows. I have been assigned to seize, effective immediately. No way! It's like she's... alive. This is unbelievable. How can a robot be this cute? What a cruel world. Ten years ago, a plan was enacted to create anti-shadow weapons. A contingency in the event a shadow became unmanageable. Igis was the last one to be made. And she's the only one that still remains today. An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean she has a persona too? Correct. I am capable of wielding the persona called Palladian. She suffered major damage in combat her first year out, and she's been kept in the lab ever since. I'm still not sure as to why she suddenly reactivated herself this morning. In any case, I hope you'll all get along. An anti-shadow weapon, possessing a will all her own. This is amazing! Uh, if you don't mind me asking, when we first saw you earlier, you were, uh, hugging our leader. Do you know him? Yes. It is very important for me to be by his side. Hmm. Maybe her facial recognition system is malfunctioning. Or maybe she's still half asleep. Very interesting. Hmm. Half asleep? Well, I can ponder this later. Anyhow, I forgot to mention. Did you know there are a wide range of recreational facilities you can use here? There's a tennis court, pool table, and even a karaoke machine. Would anyone care to hear me sing? 